Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press, and I have with me today Russ Resnick. Russ is the Worldwide Segment Manager for One and Two Socket Servers. David, thanks for having me. Very good. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about the Lenovo Think System SR250. That's right. This is our new uh, one socket rack server, right? That's correct. So one new one socket rack server. Yep. It's the now, re yep. replacement for the System X 3250M6. Right. Now, um, that was a very good system. What sort of uh, customers are suited for this type of machine? So this kind of machine is really great for small virtualized environments. It's good for uh, hosters, uh, especially bare metal hosters, mm -hmm. since this is really the least common denominator for bare metal hosting. It's also great for a remote office, for customers who have racks in a closet, let's say. And uh, it's also uh, good for, we'll talk about later, some of the features of the processor. It's really also very good for blockchain. Right, okay. Now, it, it, you might think since it's a single socket system, but it's, it's an entry-level system, this has enterprise-level features, especially management features, right? That's correct. So this has the full X-Clarity controller. Um, management engine and all the XClarity tools support mm -hmm. this just like the rest of our 2, 4, and 8 socket servers. And it has some, some features like hot swap power supplies, um, hot swap drives that, That's right. that make this really not really an entry system at all. That's right. It, right. It's really a, uh, a one socket server that has all the management and enterprise features of what's typically found in a 2 and a 4 socket and 8 socket yeah. server. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to go through the system. We're going to look at the front and look at the back and look at the components inside. All right. Great. So, so the front of the system. Um, this particular configuration has uh, eight hot swap two and a half inch drives. That's right. But the server actually supports up to ten two and a half inch drive. That's base. right. Yeah. And, and two of the ten can actually be NVMe drives. Right. This one, these two here, um, can be what we call any bay, mm -hmm. meaning that the backplane is a, it's a full ten drive backplane with ten drive bays, mm -hmm. uh, SAS or SATA. But in two of them, you, instead of instead of SAS or SATA, you could have NVMe. That's right. Yeah. And and why would you want NVMe? So NVMe drives are obviously a lot more uh, performance than the SAS and SATA drives since they're connected to the PCI bus instead of uh, through a SAS or so SATA lower controller. latency, higher, uh, higher high IOPS, right bandwidth mm -hmm. and so on. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Right. So those choices. The, the server also supports other configurations with three and a half inch drives. Right. right? Four three and a half inch bays that can either be simple swap or hot swap. Right. So quite a variety of drive configurations. Um, on the server. Um, on this side um, of the system, uh, the usual ports, uh, usual uh, buttons and displays, uh, this hole here, uh, this is a pre-production uh, right. model, uh, would either be a cover or... A uh, front VGA port. Right. So uh, along with the, the USB ports, if you, had a, if you had this server in a data center, mm -hmm. um, you could use, use those connections for, with a crash right. cart to roll up and connect locally to the system. Right, and just like our other Think System servers, one of the front USB ports uh, does connect to the XClarity controller using the mobile app. Right, that's the one with the little, um, with the little, little wrench. wrench symbol there. Mm -hmm. um, and so the, the value of the XClarity mobile, <coughs> pardon me, XClarity mobile interface is that you, you've got your mobile phone with the, the app installed. Or a tablet. Yep, or tablet. And you're connecting via a cable to the USB port, right? That's correct. And therefore, you can work with the XClarity controller to manipulate the settings on the server, update it, however. Directly on the phone or tablet. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's wired connection, not wireless. Right. For so improved so security. You, right. And you know that you're... Which, which exact to, system? Yes, yes. you're talking So you've got a whole rack of systems, you, you know which one you're working exactly. with. Yes, right, mm -hmm. very good. Yep. Um, additional components is the, uh, the power button and LED, and there's the bank of, um, of LEDs um, at the top there. There's also um, the system ID button, it's a little blue LED, and when you press that, it also lights up the matching blue LED at the back of the system. And that's just to identify the system, system ID. Right. Um, and that can be done remotely through the XClarity controller. Right. So if the, if the administrator is remote and there's somebody on the floor in the data center, they can light the light. And, and you know, like check, again, which systems. system you're working right, on. Exactly. Yeah, it's an important feature. Mm -hmm. um, a little pull-out label here. This will have the MAC address and IP address of the system processor, the XClarity controller. Um, so you better connect to that um, directly. Um, you can also put your own label there if mm -hmm. you want as well. Yep. So those are the, the front components. Let's spin around, spin around and have a look at the back. So usual rack configuration. Now, unlike the... 3250. X, yeah, the X3250 right. M6, this one actually supports three PCI slots, right? That's right. There's two external and one internal, which we'll show you in a little right. bit, 
yep. which are for the an internal RAID card. On the 3250, when a customer plugged in the internal RAID card, they lost a PCI slot. So we went ahead and found room in this system to mm -hmm. actually add an internal slot. The other thing I should mention about this system, it's about four inches shorter than the last one. Right. So we had a lot of customers who wanted a shorter depth system for either a smaller rack or because they were space mm. constrained. So th therefore this server is a little shorter. Yeah, okay. Um, hot swap or fixed power supplies? Right, this one have, has a single hot swap. Right, it's um, 450 watt hot swap right. or 300 watt fixed. Yes, okay, mm -hmm. so the choice is there. Um, on your side, we have a serial port at the top and VGA port at the, at the bottom there. That's correct. And unlike the 3250, the SR250 now has a dedicated management port uh, for the X-Clarity right, controller. Right, that's the first one here on, on right, your side. Right, yep. plus two one gigabit uh, Ethernet ports for the system. And then a right. pair of USB 3 uh, 10 gig ports. I yes, these are the 3.1 G2 mm -hmm. uh, USB ports. Yep. All right, so those are the components mm -hmm. on the back. Let's open up and have a look inside. There must be a trick to it. There it is. Yeah, good job. Thanks. It's, I've got a lot of practice. <laughs> All right, so um, we'll spin it around to this side. Um, Okay, so Russ, what, what are the key features here? So once again, we talked about the internal PCI slot. So a, PC, uh, a RAID card, an internal right. RAID card would go here. The super cap, if it needs one, would sit up here and then be cabled out to the front. This, uh, this uh, configuration uses the onboard SATA ports uh, for, right, the, the, for the back the, plane, the back plane that, that for, goes for the there, yes. Plane. We yes. also support an M.2 card here for boot. Yep, so you would use this, for example, it, um, put your operating system on this, and that would then allow you to to use the front drives mm -hmm. for your data, right? That's right, yep. that's right. If you choose to, yeah. Right. Now, let me, let me, let me remove this. Uh, this is the Butterfly Riser card. Um, there are two variations. Um, th um, this particular one has got a single PCIe by 16 slot, um, but the other variation has got two by eight slots. That's right. Um, one will be a full height, uh, half length, and, and the other will be a slim line. Um, by eights, even though this one will be a by 16 connector, it'll be physically by, uh, sorry, electrically by eight mm -hmm. connector and by eight on this side. That's so right. Two, two variations for that. That's right. Um, this, so that's the connector the riser goes into, and this was the one for the, the, dedicated, the RAID. dedicated RAID card. Mm -hmm. That's a by four connector for that it's one. It's physically by, by, by eight, but right. electrically by four, that's which right. in a system like this really shouldn't matter. Right. I'm just going to remove this air baffle just to show you what's under there. Now, the system um, uses a single Intel Xeon E2100 e processor. That's right. Right. This is the processor formerly known as Coffee Lake. That's right. Um, also supported are the... Uh, Celeron, Pentium, and Core i3 processors that are in the Coffee Lake series. Yes. Yep. Now, the server also has support for four um, uh, UDIMs, DDR4 right. UDIMs. DDR4 UDIMs yep. with ECC. With ECC, mm -hmm. so there's uh, error correct, uh, check and correcting mm -hmm. functionally built into those DIMs. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you had 16 gig DIMs, for example, then 64 gig of memory it would for be the system. max with those DIMs, with right? The, right. Mm -hmm. So quite, quite a powerful system for a one socket system. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Fans, uh, if, if you've got the two and a half inch drives, then you have four fans. If it's the three and a half inch uh, four drive bay, mm -hmm. then you would have three fans in, this config in the configuration. Um, now, you mentioned the, uh, the power module connector here. For so the if RAID you, card. Right, mm -hmm. so if you have the RAID 930i, which is our high-end, high-performance RAID adapter, mm -hmm. um, that adapter includes um, an enterprise feature. Uh, it's, called, it's commonly called SuperCap, but it's, it's effectively a power module to get like a battery. And the idea is that w with this adapter, even if the, the, the server is in the middle of a write operation uh, and the power fails, the, the transaction is stored in the memory of the adapter and backed up by the power module, so that at, so that once power is restored to the server, then that final those final write operations then can then be completed right. to the disk. Mm -hmm. So that's just one of the the enterprise level features in in one of the in, in this system, and it's sort of something sort of you see on all our Think systems. Right. Right, and as with all the Think system products, you know we have common options. So the drive options are common with the two and four and eight socket servers, as are the RAID cards and the network cards. Yeah. So, David, one thing I want to add about this system is it does support NVMe drives. Yeah. And the processor also supports SGX, which is the software guard extensions. Mm -hmm. So, given the ability to add in the high performance NVMe drives and the fact that the processor has software guard extensions, makes this box a really nice little blockchain engine. So, for customers who want to deploy, uh, say, a series of blockchain engines, this would be a, a great little box for that. 
All right, so I think that's about it, Russ. Um, oh, we didn't we didn't mention the the TPM. The um, the server has built in TPM, a, a mm -hmm. trusted platform module mm -hmm. for um, enhanced security um, for our China customers. Uh, there is a plug-in TPM module uh, available as well as an That's option. That's right. Yep. Now, security-wise, we um, have a we have a this product doesn't have it on it, but we do have a one-use security bezel. Right. It, it, it goes physically on the front of it mm -hmm. to protect. Physical access to the front drive. To the front drive. And that's, that's right. lockable with the key. So mm -hmm. that's, that's available as an option that's as well. That's right. Yep. All right, so there you have it. Uh, this is the SR250, our new single socket server. Thanks so much, Russ. Thank you for having me. Yep. And just a note, we're here in the um, briefing center, the executive ah, briefing yes. center yes. here in Morrisville, North Carolina. And we have others in Beijing and Stuttgart. But if you're interested in uh, talking to the developers or the, uh, the supply chain people or uh, any of the people that work here, uh, you should contact your Lenovo seller or your business partner and you can arrange a visit, uh, get Learn tours. about our full, our full product line. Right, right? learn about yeah. our full product line, uh, understand our roadmaps, and uh, just uh, get to know the people here at Lenovo a lot better. Yep. And if you're looking for more information about this server, we do have a product guide. You'll look for the link to the product guide in the description for this video. Right, thanks again, Rush. Thanks for having me. I hope you found the video useful, and we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.